Oh. Hello. Hey. Hi. What's up? Look how beautiful. I love the tattoos. Yeah. Thank you. Are you in school, work? Work almost every day. What do you do? Uh, I manage a depeneur, so convenience store for any non-French speakers. <laughs> Depen depeneur. Depeneur. Oh, my French is trash. <laughs> so that's cool. And so we read your email, but there's not a lot of information in there. We want to know the whole story and kind of give us the details. So the first time Daryl ever made contact with me, it was through Instagram. The way he approached me is not how any guy usually approaches me, like really sweet and not so direct. And he had taken it upon himself to draw a selfie that I had posted. So kind of nice, kind of creepy a little bit because I had no idea who he was. Did he ever explain how and why he found you? No, in the first few years, honestly, it was just kind of like a little back and forth. Like any time that I would post a picture that he liked, he would draw it and send it to me when it was done. And I was obviously really appreciative, but I would say it was more in the past year that we kind of got a bit closer and started talking more on a daily basis. How many drawings would you say he did of you over the course of those three years? Around 10, 15. I got to a point I just started sending him like my favorite selfies and he would do the drawing for me. You're his muse. He does say that to me all the time. <laughs> He's like Jack and your Rose. Draw me like one of your French girls. <laughs> oh. Have you sent him a nude to draw? I've never directly sent him one, but I do have an OnlyFans which he is subscribed to. So. Well. <laughs> Did he draw that? He did. <gasps> wow. Has he sent any sexy photos of him? No. Interesting. Well, why haven't you guys FaceTimed or something? I mean, I've asked. It's kind of just been brushed off. And I feel like if I push too hard, he can just disappear. Like he has deleted parts of his social media in the past. So it's really kind of a touchy thing. He deactivated his social media a bunch of times. What happened with that? A couple weeks ago, actually, I went to go search up the page. The page is just gone. Is that profile still down? No. In fact, he usually just tells me he needed a break from social media. Okay. That could be true, but have you guys been texting? I mean, we text on Instagram. But do you have his phone number? I don't. Wait, so for four years I've been talking just through Instagram and OnlyFans? Yeah. So you've never heard his voice or seen him in a video? No. Interesting. <laughs> the red flag. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Something's definitely up. Because like in your email, you mentioned something about you got a weird DM from Daryl telling you to ignore another message. What was that all about? I had got a DM uh, from somebody that I didn't know. And it was just a Facebook link in the message. So when I clicked on it, it brought me to like some Facebook group. And I saw in their followers that Daryl was one of them. When I went and confronted Daryl about it, he said, oh, you know, that's just my sister. I ignore the message. So did you respond and have you had any communication with the sister? No. Weird. Can I see a picture of Daryl? I'm just so curious now. Yeah. All right, hold on. I'm going to bring him up on Instagram. What's his Instagram? It's Daryl Art Show. Is that him? Yes. Cool. This is him, right? Yes fits into my type, I guess you could say. Mm-hmm. What's this? My dad in the paper. Wait a second. So this is his dad. Allegedly. This, wait, this was just a few days ago. Yeah. Huh. Is this you? That is me. <gasps> oh, wow. <laughs> oh, boy. Is that you also? That is not me, actually. Oh, okay. Do you ever get jealous when he draws other girls? I mean, kind of, <laughs> low key. 
I'm used to being the muse, you know, so. But even his like follower to following count looks normal. Like the page looks very, if it is a catfish, it's very convincing. I don't know what to think. Yeah, questions. Well, what is it about this guy? Because I know you have other guys fawning after you. So what is it about Daryl? I mean, it's really different. There's not anyone who actually cares about how I'm doing. He's just there every time I need it, you know? He, like, the fact that somebody would spend so much time making drawings of me, someone that they've never even met, it's just insane to me. You know, he always says, if I live closer, I would be wifed up already, so. Wow. <laughs> Right now, are you not looking to meet another guy because you think that something will happen with Daryl? I mean, yeah. <laughs> this is kind of the dream, if it can be possible, but kind of need to know so I can move on either with him still in my life or cutting him out of it. Obviously, we don't have a phone number, but we have his Instagram. We have that picture he posted of his dad. But send us whatever information you have. Let us see what we can find out. Hopefully get one step closer to finally meeting this guy. Hopefully. All right, All talk right. later, April. Thank you. Oh, she's sweet. What do you think? Is this guy legit? I don't know. He could just be a boy artist in Akron who just has a couple different sexy ladies around who he draws pictures mm -hmm. of and they send him sexy pics and he's just not looking to That's commit. That's what I fear. That's kind of the yeah. vibe I'm getting. If he is legit, maybe there's a chance it could work out. And if he's not, April needs to know because I don't want to see her get her heart broken. Exactly. Something tells me in my spirit that April is not the only one. And after four years, she deserves to know the truth. We've never had two hopeless hook up. An identical twin. <gasps> Everybody in Hawaii is in on this. <gasps> That's insane. We've never seen anything like this. The catfish sent you the real guy's Facebook page. Come on.